Hey everyone, so a lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on Star Wars Battlefront 2015's Mod Manager and how to activate mods for the game. So let's get started. So before we start, you're going to want to make sure you have Net Framework 462 installed. If you do not, install it, uh, download it, and install it. If you're not sure that you don't, if you don't have it installed, go ahead, hit the download button. The program will tell you if you have it installed or not, and then you can uh, exit out of the program. Now come back and go down and get the GitHub link and hit releases, come down, go to uh, the Frosty Mod Manager version 102A. Once you have it downloaded, open up the, f open up the package. You can extract this anywhere you want. Um, I preferred the desktop, but make a folder for it first. Once you have it extracted, come in and make sure that you have a mods folder. Um, I wasn't really sure if this mod uh, manager made the mods folder first or if um, I made it myself. I can't really remember because it's, you know, there's been a lot of things that's been going on since then. So I don't really remember if that made it. But if it does, um, good for it. Um, but I would say go ahead and make the mods folder. Go ahead and throw your mods in there that you've uh, downloaded and um, open up. Hit right click. Well, actually, don't open that up yet. Right click, hit properties, go to compatibility, and a check mark, run this program as administrator, and hit apply, and then hit OK. Once you're done, open up the mod manager, exe. It will uh, ask you to find the Star Wars Battlefront.exe. Um, usually it's in uh, Programs 86, uh, Origin Games, and then Star Wars Battlefront. Um, once you do that, you'll want to click on the Star Wars Battlefront EXE. Don't click on the trial one. Click on the, the first one. It will um, probably copy patch resources. If it doesn't do that later, it'll do it now. And basically, you just want to let it run through that and do it uh, Do it all. Do not uh, interrupt it. Do not close out the program. A task manager, don't do anything. Let it finish. It'll take about five minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending on... Um, um, I don't know what it really depends on, but mine took about like six or seven minutes to do, and then I was ready to use the mod manager. So after you're done with, uh, with that, you'll see all your list of mods here in the available mods. To activate them, you want to double click on them and move as many mods as you want over into uh, the, avail apply or the applied mods. Now, if you want to read the description on the, the mods and see exactly what files they uh, modify, you can do that uh, with the descriptions. Once you are done enabling your mods, um, if there's a mod that you en enabled that you do not want to play with, uh, go over here, hit the X, it'll remove it from the list. Um, once you're done, launch the game. Now, don't launch the game through Origin. Launch it through the Mod Manager. The Mod Manager will launch the game. It will say Applying Mods, and then it will launch the game. Then you can go in game, and then you can find out uh, through the customization if it's like a customized uh, skin for the customization in there. Um, you can go to um, the customization, and you can see your skin right there, and then you can hop in game and play it. All right, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, there will be more in the future. Um, Join us on our Discord because we we have a lot of people already on there, and we're just we're just flying uh, with all the mods. People are just there's it, it's so awesome how fast this community has grown this fast with mods. Um, I can't believe it. Uh, hopefully, we can start modding this game and making some amazing things in it. I can't wait to see what we do in the future. Um, it's it's gonna be awesome. So um, I hope this guys I hope this helped you guys. Um, I know it uh, will help a lot of people because they've been having problems with the mod to mod manager. Um, the next tutorial will probably be on the Frosty Tool Suites on how to uh, extract textures and how to get the Intel plugin working for Photoshop CS6. Um, so uh, check out uh, check out that once it's up, and uh, have a great day.